Barbara, bum, bum, bum. Hmm. hmm. What's the NHS mean to me? My mother is a twice survivor of breast cancer and we didn't have to pay for that care because we have the NHS. Saved my life when I was 10 and my appendix burst. Saved my daughter's life. You know, the NHS saved my brother's life when he was 12 years old. I was there when my mum was giving birth to my baby brother and there were some difficulties in the birth and they saved her life. The doctors came running in and saved her and the baby. My little brother had his life saved by the NHS. He had Hodgkin's lymphoma and they gave him chemotherapy for it. And the great thing was, because it was the NHS, he didn't have to open a rolling meth lab in order to pay for his treatment. Knowing that the NHS is there as a safety net um, for yourself and for your friends and family, but also just for everyone you pass on the street everywhere, everyone that we share this country with, is always a great sense of reassurance and happiness to me. I've worked for the NHS. It is something that makes me proud to be British, that we have a national health service that doesn't decide on who it treats by how much money they have in the bank. The NHS is probably the thing that makes me proudest to be British. Proud because it's a national kindness. And yet, somehow we're just sort of quietly letting it be abused. The NHS has been privatised, it's been privatised by stealth, it's been happening for years and this is happening at the direction of some of the world's worst people. As I think most people accept, it's systematically being taken apart uh, and it's being made more and more easy for private companies, private interests to make their way into the NHS. And the US corporations are trying to take over the NHS and the government's health bill is helping that to happen. And they call it the health bill, I'll call it the stealth bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's happening on our watch. The NHS has been desperately underfunded to make it look like it isn't working so that we might accept another system. We're short tens of thousands of, of, of staff. That's the reason that it's going to take a long time to get your routine operations. That's the reason that um, there are the, the, you know, the delays and the, and the waits to see your GP. It's a trick straight out of the privatisation playbook. Run the service down till people think it can't be any worse privately owned. Except we know that it can. There are huge American corporations champing at the bit to get a slice of the action. American corporations are embedding themselves in our NHS. And this is a really dangerous and a very, very worrying turn of events. Their motive is not care, but profit. And we can't introduce the profit motive into care. Care must be for its own sake because we want to save each other's lives. That's what's so wonderful about the NHS. It's an act of love. It's what society gives to itself to look after everybody in that society. In the States, the number one cause of bankruptcy is health and healthcare costs. And that American system of healthcare is in grave danger of coming over here, causing an insurance-based two-tier system. That is what this health and care bill is all about. Some of my American friends who sometimes, through poor health, have had to start wondering, do they have enough money to live, to have treatment? I've seen what a nightmare healthcare, if you can call it that, is in America. A real nightmare. And the idea of that infecting our NHS is, is like the idea of a new pandemic, frankly. That kind of infection would destroy and compromise the health service that we've grown to depend on, to love and to be in, incredibly proud of. Protecting the NHS from privatisation, which is happening by stealth, we know it's happening. It's not a left-wing issue or a right-wing issue. It's a human issue. Cross party, there is support for saving the NHS. Please, please, please read up on what's happening. Until I did, I had no idea. It's just, it's just unthinkable, really, um, a life without the NHS. Um, listen, if it's something that worries you like it worries me, yournhsneedsyou.com is doing something about it. So check out that website and see how you can help. I'm definitely going to do it. It's a trick. We're being duped. We're being conned. If you want to do something about it, you should go to yournhsneedsyou.com to find out what you can do. Just ask him to protect our NHS. Protect our NHS.
from commercial interest, from everything. It was set up for a reason, and it's because we matter. It's been degraded for the last few years by cuts and by sell-offs of different parts of it. But it's one of the best things we have. It's one of the few things where Britain really, really leads the world. That and pop music. Of course, you can go to yournhsneedsyou.com and you can find out how you can help more. I'm sorry, I'm older. I had to look at my screen then to, to get the details. I absolutely love the NHS and not just because I'm a Welsh person and it was invented by Nairn Bevin um, because it saved the people I love most in the world. It's something we need to cherish and protect. We've all needed it at some point and we're all going to need it again. Yournhsneedsyou.com and it does. Please, please support our NHS. We need to take action right now. Please go to www.yournhsneedsyou.com for some really, really handy and simple tips to join the fight to make sure that our wonderful health service stays properly funded and publicly owned. Thanks very much.